this huge rematch with Whitaker. How do yeah. you feel going into this? To be honest, practicing patience. I felt the same way leading to the cost of fight during fight week. I was just, I knew this was going to be exciting, but I was like, just chill, champ, chill. So it feels like a new fight to me. I know I've already beat him, but I don't. Similar to what I said to him in the, in the first fight, after the first round, he was looking at the screen to see what happened. And I, I called him, I was like, hey, don't worry about that. That's in the past. Focus on me now. I feel the same way. Like, what happened in, is in the past. He is a different fighter now, but guess what? So am I. Even though you have a win over him, Anderson Silva still has that special place among MMA people. Do you feel like you have a chance to overtake him as the MMA GOAT? And if so, what is it that you have to accomplish to get there? Fighting is, is an art form, it's expression, and art is very subjective. It's public knowledge. I've been inspired by Anderson Silva since my start in this career. I just keep doing me, and the numbers chase me. Is he always fun to talk to? You? Wish you the best on Saturday, my friend. Easy. Thank you, my man. See, I'm not sexist. Everyone can get it. Man, woman, a child. If you can crawl. Uh, me and a couple of coaches just got in yesterday, so um, yeah, the boys have been uh, well looked after by the by the rest of the coaches and the team. So we're just picking up where they left off. The family's getting back together as we do assemble the Avengers and. Yeah, it's what we do. We're just, we're used to this. It's our life. It's sport life. One, two. Keeping things sharp, everything's down to a T. Um, uh, whether it's the jab, whether it's like managing the distance, just everything's got to be 100% on point. One, two, three. Yeah, the rematch, I mean, we're expecting a completely different fight. We definitely obviously think Robert didn't show his full potential. He got shut down pretty soundly uh, last time. So we're expecting the fight that we were expecting the first time. And, and we're looking for Israel to put on a clinic. 1-5. Holy business. Let's zoom. And the Crusades? Yeah. Oh! I played these with Robert because there's a lot of building. I like doing that stuff. When Robert was three, I'd be playing those games and he'd be playing next to me. So that's how he sort of got into it. Well, I, what I can do, I can give it a go and build like the base. I can work it out. Definitely, it's one of the perks of Fight Week and the week leading into it. You know, just being able to zone out and play games. The problem is I was like tossing up games for a little bit, so it was a drift. <coughs> You're on a mission. Yeah. Ended up just jumping straight back into Old Faithful. Where's the bar? Come drink for the thirsty. So I'm here with Big Bam. Tied to Ivasa, you've now won four in a row. You must feel like Superman going in there today now, knowing that you possess the skills that you have. Yeah, I feel a lot more confident and comfortable now, for sure. I was think I was just rushing a bit in the back then. Well, like I said, I was learning on the job. Yeah. And uh, it made me realize, like, this is why I'm losing. This is why I'm not, I'm not giving this my all. And since then, I've been giving it my all. I tried. You good? Right, you good? Yeah, yeah, How you feeling? Here's what it is. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. <laughs> okay, uh, you can take a little step forward for me. I remember the emotion I carried into the fights with Jones. It seemed like you had that in fight number one yeah. with Ed Asanya. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it upset me that this that this guy was like, you know, everyone was talking about him and underselling me and, and, yeah. and just... I don't know. It, it was it was a weird dynamic. It did make it personal because it was personal. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was then. Um... It's not about money. This is I love money. Don't get me wrong. I do this for the money. But it's not about money. This is about legacy. This is about martial arts. This is about learning. And I'm still hungry. You know, I'm 32. I'm fresh, I'm young, 
if, I, <laughs> if this was about money, if I was gonna just do this for the money and bounce, I would have done this like maybe three fights ago, to be honest, because I'm, I'm kind of set. Good size feet you got there, champ. Hey, oh, no way, Lex. Hey, how you doing, so, brother, you well? I'm good, good man. Good to see you. Big Mark. 14s? 13s, actually. Yeah, 13s. Yeah, flippers. Can I get a picture with you? Um, of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure, my man. Are you expecting a different Robert Whitaker than you fought in 2019? Yep, I am. Um, he has matured, like he said, and I expect him to be more patient. That makes him dangerous to me. That makes him really dangerous, but at the same time, I'm never too attached to the outcome. Even when I fought him last time, bro, if I had lost that fight, ha! Like, I would've been the laughing stock of the internet. Like, look at this guy, he thought he was so cool with all that dancing He got knocked out, ha <laughs> ha, this guy. But nah, I put that on myself because I like to gamble. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a gambler, I like to roll the dice. You only have one life, so I put that on myself so I can exceed expectations, you know? Take a tiny step forward for me. Okay, so you're looking here. Can you just uh, break down, Jared, a little bit, what you've seen uh, studying him over the last few months and what kind of you expect from him? He got to come out and fight the perfect fight, you know. He got to have a little luck on his side and catch me, but uh, skill for skill, you know, it's not even close. Jared is a guy who's opportunistic, you know. He's staying there, you know, but I don't really put him as really great at any one thing. I think he's just a solid, tough guy, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it can get real ugly real quick. You know, he go to the ground with me, you know. So, uh, I know he's going to be focused on that, so that opens up the other parts of my game. What is this? What is contrast you're using? It is anti-shine, so you're not shining. Is again. this from L'Oreal? Nope. This is oh. from Makeup Forever. Oh, oh no, from MAC, actually. Oh, that new collection? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, L'Oreal? <laughs> you might have someone endorse you here soon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know. Hey, you never you know. know. All right, babe, you are all set. Do you need chopstick or are you good? No, I can't prepare. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. All right. You said that, you know, the last time you fought in Houston, the pressure got to you. Is there anything you specifically have to do to avoid that happening again, or is it just try and put it out of your mind? It's the reason why the pressure was so tough, that fight right there, because it was the same day, exact day that I got out of prison, the same exact day. So it's like I put a lot of pressure on myself, and it was just like a crazy, crazy thing that I wanted for my legacy or whatever. Being all the way at the bottom of my life then being the champion of the world, it just meant a lot, you know? So to try to train your mind for something like that, it's like being in prison for three and a half years and just knowing that whenever I got out, just being focused and met a couple of friends and they introduced me to uh, MMA and I ended up falling in love with it at the beginning. And here I am now, Now I hate it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, you had me. I'm feeling it. I'm still feeling it. Oh, I feel it. Yo.